want to appeal to us as leaders. If you are at the level of Jacob Bolanya, would you still be humble? When you're in a public office, and what is killing our public offices is pride. When people get one escort, they don't look at other people like they're human beings. When people are shown public offices, they can't even say hello to the people they are seated next to. Leaders of this country, if we can be humble, God will give us the wisdom that Jacob had. But if we remain proud, we shall fall and shame shall be on us. I want to say that people in public offices, that those offices are temporary. You will not stay in those offices for the rest of your lives. Be humble. Rich. Accept people the way they come. Those who are rich, those who are poor, those who are dressed in rags, when they come to those offices, they are public offices. Put your pride aside because God has given you that office for a period of time. I thank you, Madam Speaker. Rest in peace, Jacob. Let me conclude. So thank you very much, Mr. So, Mr. Speaker, he has died. We're all going to die. But I'm very sorry to hear some people clamoring for money that they want. If he was here, he would have called that in his office talk about the budget, but he's not calling us. For us in our culture, we contribute money to send off people, not to eat. For those who are clamoring to eat it, I'm asking God that call them immediately to go with him. <laughs> May his soul rest in peace. Honorable Tim. I also want to thank the president and the SEC members for making Jacob achieve his dream, for fulfilling the 2011 promise, the 2016 promise of Jacob becoming the Speaker of Parliament of Uganda. Jacob has died a happy man. Allow me to thank Mama. From the time Jacob went to hospital, Mama sent him a book for prayer, and she requested us to pray always with him and read for him the verses in the Bible. While I was in Seattle, Mama gave me a call and asked me how the speaker was. I gave her bad news, but she told me, Jane, I refuse the re report of the doctors. Let's believe in God. Thank you, Mama, for giving us that strength. Your Excellency.